Hey y'all, it's February the 29th, 2016, alright, tomorrow is Super Tuesday, alright, uh, I barely know what that means, I know a lot of people are out voting tomorrow, alright, um, I want to start off this particular video by saying that, in my opinion, and you might already know this, the elections are rigged, they're rigged just like the Super Bowl, alright, they're fake and all messed up and rigged, and this is the reason why you see Hillary winning her uh state after state after state right, she's cheating it's obvious i don't even like bernie sanders uh it's rigged it's been rigged for a long time <coughs> all right but i want to get that out of the way all right um i like to listen to a lot of different people a lot of different people and they got a lot of different perspectives all right and as you know uh i've endorsed this donald j trump all right and i've been endorsing him all right and at the same time i'm not a closed off individual i don't have a closed off mind Right. I want to hear, if I'm endorsing a person, I want to hear the best stuff about him. I want to hear all sorts of people talk all sorts of bad stuff. That way, I know just what it is I'm getting into. Right. I like to link down at the bottom of the back of uh, one of the video in which Ben Shapiro rattles off a whole mess of bad stuff about Donald J. Trump. Bad stuff he's done. I understand that. Uh, assuming most of it is very accurate, or even all of it is accurate, I have seen that. I've also seen the bad, bad stuff that you can say about every other candidate. I've analyzed it. All right. And in viewing all the bad stuff, about every candidate and knowing and assuming that this election is rigged, it's being controlled and handled. Taking that into consideration, I gotta stress to you that Donald J. Trump is still the only choice. All right. And what concerns me is a lot of videos I've been seeing and these people have been saying uh, this and that, basically that he's untrustable. All right. Uh, and I'd like to remind you that never had I ever had a trust for a Donald Trump in my life. All right. Um, but this situation is very complex. I think we'll all agree. It is extremely complex. There's a lot of ins and outs and a lot of what have yous. All right. Um, our best bet is to simplify the matter. And me personally, I can't help but simplify this. All right. Because my brain it just works that way. When things get too complicated, uh, I, I just get simplified in my head. All right. That's the only thing that really gives me power is the fact is that my brain's not all fogged up and, and, and boggled by the complexity of the situation. All right. Let's go ahead and simplify this. And I've already done it. Let's do it again. Because tomorrow is Super Tuesday. All right. Some of y'all might be on this. All right, most, pretty much everybody who, who's uh, decided on Trump ain't nothing going to change their mind. All right, but there's some of y'all out there that might be thinking, well, I'm going to go for the safe bet. I'm going to go for the conservative. His name is the Teddy Cruz. All right, it's obvious that you have not seen what I have seen about Teddy Cruz. And let me just put this out there. Teddy Cruz has done a lot of good things in his political career. I'll give him that. Filibusters and all that. He has. But it's obvious that you have not gone out to... Uh, pretty much vet a Teddy Cruz the way that I have. Because if you did, you would not be thinking that right now. Right? A lot of y'all might just be scared. You might be all scared about it, about a Donald Trump. And it's because of your fear that you're thinking, well, maybe I'll just go to Cruz because I'm scared. What I'm telling you is to don't be scared. Some of y'all, uh, you might have heard this and that about Donald J. Trump. You might say, well, he's not a Christian like he's been saying he's a Christian, right? He said two Corinthians the other day. Uh, and in fact, it's called Second Corinthians. That's what everybody calls it. Um, that honestly is not a very big mistake. I wouldn't hold that against him. Let's just assume that he's not a, a Bible reader, an avid Bible reader. Let's just assume that he's not a Christian. That's what First of all, you got to understand America when you simplify it. You cannot ever, ever, ever be the president unless you say you're Christian, period. Right? Jewish people ain't never going to be the president here. That is just how it, it, it is, right? And even that Mitt Romney, that, that presidential size loser named Mitt Romney, even he got looked at sideways for saying he's Mormon, right? You, you just can't do it. You can never do it. Obama, uh, I'm possibly the son of Satan. Uh, if nothing else, uh, a mildly practicing Muslim. Even he said he was Christian. You want to know why? Because he can't make president unless you say that. All right. So you're going to have to say it regardless. You might say, well, he's not Christian enough. Uh, if you're too Christian, ain't nobody going to let you be in the presidency at all, ever. It's not going to consider you for it. They're going to consider you weak. And that that is a terrible attribute of America, I'll admit, because uh, I go hard for Jesus. All right. And I go too hard to ever, ever be considered for presidency. Ron Paul is probably the closest that we'll ever get. All right. But let's simplify this. Well, I've heard the most. This is the main argument. Let me finish like this. Uh, uh, Donald Trump. He might not be trustable. He's lied to some in his life, and, and he, he may be falling fast one on us and whatnot. All right, I heard you. I heard your complaints. I heard your concerns. All right, yeah, he might be trying to pull a fast one. That is a possibility. It's a slight possibility, but it is a possibility still. All right, might I remind you that in this game, it almost doesn't matter because he is literally spitting way more hot fire than anybody else. All right, so uh, if Donald Trump is not trustable, let me promise to you that ain't no candidate on that stage trustable at all. All right, uh, so 
could he be pulling a fast one? Yeah, he could be pulling a fast one just like every single one of the other candidates. In fact, uh, every single one of the other candidates is far less capable than a Donald Trump. All right, it would be nothing if it weren't for people donating money to them. All right, regardless. But the thing is, like I said, you're making it a little bit too complex. You're actually forgetting the, the main point. And the, the main point is this. While you're talking about uh, whether or not we can trust Donald Trump, what you're forgetting is this. He's running for president of the United States. You do not have to trust him. And it really is that simple. You're not supposed to trust him. All right, let me just give you an example. I'm almost 30 years old. All right. Uh, you know, when I was a little baby, it was that George. It was the first George Bush, right? Since ever since I could remember, uh, and I had discernment as far as the president of the United States, I have never, ever, ever one day ever in my life trusted the president. So what if you're going to do is say, well, man, I want to be able to trust my president and I just don't trust Donald Trump. I will lose sleep at night and everything is going to be just terrible if I don't trust the president. Well, I can promise you, I go to sleep at night just fine. And I always have. And I ain't never trusted the president. And we live under a tyranny right now, a state of dictatorship today. We've been doing it for the past seven years. All right. Our current president is known for smoking crack. He's got purple lips. All right. There's mad evidence behind him smoking crack, snorting cocaine in limos, uh, getting blown off by dudes, blowing off dudes in Hawaii, uh, totally shitting on the Constitution every time he gets a chance. So if what you need is a, a president you can trust, I don't know what world you're living in. All right. You aren't supposed to trust the president. All right. What you're supposed to do is elect a president and scream in his damn face every time he makes you angry. That's what you're supposed to do. So if you're over here talking about, oh, man, he's not, he's not trust, he, he ain't trustworthy, you totally missed the point anyways. All right. You have no idea what you are getting into. It's the tribulation. It's the end of days. All right. Either you're going to have a voice or you're not. Either you're going to speak out and vote for who is getting the hot fire or you're going to vote for safety and comfort and you will get neither one. All right. So the choice that we are making this year, if you decide to make one, even if you decide not to make a choice, you're making a choice. I'm making a choice. And we are going to be held accountable for the choices we make. So I want you to think to yourself. I'm not going to tell you to vote for, but I want you to think to yourself, you are going to be held accountable for the choice you either make or don't make uh, coming up real soon. And that's something to think about. It is February the 29th, 2016.